Okay, that one was kind of lame. Hello! Um, so, as you can see from my last video, which is uploading right now, because I'll probably just make like 10 videos and upload them in succession, but I reorganized the pens, so this isn't as beautiful as they were before, the rainbow, but, but I think it'll do for now. Um, uh, so, yeah, this video is, I don't really have any plans. I've decided to basically just go over this giant kit you can see in the background there. So this, I just like to start, I, I'm not exactly sure where you can purchase it. I did receive it as a Christmas gift. Um, so I, I, I'm not in the know. I think you can find it on Amazon. Uh... For reference, it's an Art 101 kit. It, it, it's nothing special, but it does have a ton of colors and everything you'll need to create artwork. It doesn't come with... I know, actually, I think it does come with paper, but I didn't use that paper. Because it's really just regular printer paper, so I didn't need it. Um, but, I would like to show... I, I don't want to do this too much. It's a very big kit. It's a little, actually, too big, in my opinion. It's just the biggest item, I think, is the pastels. So, uh, I think, other than all the color, the best part about this kit is you do have to be a little careful when doing this or it will all spill out, which I do find kind of annoying. You can latch it, and then you've got your very own impressive-looking heavy briefcase, which I just got my shirt stuck in. Um, so, it is big. Uh, that's... Just a hand to scale, um, but I, I I do wish the items in the case were actually a little more secure because I have to kind of do this whole thing when opening it, and I've I've had everything fall out, and then I'll have to lift it a little bit for this. There are little tabs on each of the sides, so you just pull up and over, which is really quite helpful. Um, so you get everything at once and you get this little kind of tray table. I'm going to lean this down so you can see. So I will start with what is on my left because I'm a lefty represent. Um, so you've got two kinds of paints. I, for some reason, the one paint that I've used the most is the carmine color, the red watercolor. So these are water-based paints. So there's acrylics and uh, water-based. There's two kinds and there are a total of 12 colors, and you have, it, it's only 12 colors, there are 24 here, so each color you have in watercolor and acrylic, it's the same, so the only way to tell the difference actually is uh, at the top, it's, so this one is watercolor and this one's acrylic, um, I don't believe I've used the watercolor, or maybe I have for this um, white, but you do have to make sure that you kind of are able to see the top because if, if you really care about which kind of paint you're using and I don't, it's not a huge issue for me um, you you that's the only way to tell the difference like it's just gonna be honest there uh, and then so I'm gonna discuss this as you can see I I use this for a fan art for I think don't hug me I'm scared I was drawing the red guy and he was the biggest character so I went a little bit ham on the red. Um, one thing that did bother me, this being a large art set, not everything's gonna be an amazing quality, but so it burst on the side, that's why there's that splotch of paint there. I didn't like then we just decorate my tube. Um, it did burst, which is why it, it is a little hard to paint with. I'm probably gonna use the acrylic red from now on, um, unless I'm really desperate. So that's kind of sad. Um, but a good thing is when you roll them up after you've used them a lot and it's a little hard to get paint, um, there's a securing area at the top here where you can push it in so that it doesn't just fall out all the time. So that's nice, because um, I was a little worried that I was going to have to keep it somewhere else so it didn't keep falling out. Because you can see it's not really doing anything when I lift it. So yeah, there are 12 colors, like I said. There's white, carmine probably not pronouncing that right, vermilion, lemon yellow, chrome green, deep green, sky blue, ultramarine, violet, burnt umber, which is basically brown, gray, and black. Um, 
most colors there's only one of although green and blue you have a lighter version and a darker version which is nice so yeah that's the paint section it also you move down to here and you've got paint brushes I don't love these paint brushes it comes in four sizes uh, this is the biggest size and this is the smallest I do wish there was a sponge thing but also I if you are going to use the paints in this set and I recommend you do they're okay um, don't use the paint brushes I made that mistake and what happens is the fibers of the paintbrush I can see there's like a little bit of dust coming off this because I haven't used them the fibers of the paintbrush will disconnect and get stuck in your paint and just be everywhere on the paper and it's it's bad and it's gross and just don't use these uh, if you're going to get the set I would just pick up a cheap paintbrush from somewhere else and it'll probably be better then there's kind of all this paraphernalia over here I think this is for paint. It's unused as of right now. Oh, uh, there's an eraser. This is nice. Oh my god. Um, I've only used this a little bit. There's a sharpener, a hand sharpener that's here. And then there's this. Oh, there, there is a sponge, but it doesn't come in the form of a brush. That's back here. I'm not really sure what this is for. You could leave a comment letting me know. Uh, yeah. Bite me, I guess. Uh, and then... There's this, this is like a handy little color chart, which I have not used yet, but there's combinations, and those are for the watercolor palette. And this is pretty nice palette, it's a little hard to get out. The packaging, the plastic is a little bit cheap, but the colors are nice, uh, they're pretty, pretty versatile as colors go. There are 20 colors. Um, I do notice there are like five colors that are very similar here, which kind of bothers me because I feel like there are some colors they could have included that they didn't really need three shades of black and gray because it's watercolors. Really, I, I guess some people might need that, but personally I, I like vibrant colors and pastel colors a little more than kind of darker, linear colors um, because I'm not an emo at all. <laughs> I don't even listen to my chemical romance mom. Well. Hmm. But they they are pretty nice. It's tough to get back in. I'm having this struggle here. Uh so yeah, the packaging. I don't I don't love that. I, I've considered taking these black kind of packaging areas out. They're just plastic. Um but I've decided to leave them in for now just because they help with storage. At some point, I might take them out and just use this as a regular supply case. I am not sure. Once I get more stuff, we'll see. And then we have the pastels. I really don't understand their motives here. There's a lot of these ones. Here. So I was just counting. There are 30 pastels total. That's the amount of different colors you get. So that's pretty nice. That's a good amount of pastels, and they're nice pastels, too. They're not that bad. They are a little bit, like, chunky at times. Um, that sounds weird. <laughs> but then you have two other rows of the exact same colors in the same order. Like, you get three of each pastel, and I have never used pastels in, um, like, that avidly before. I've had them. I've used them, but I've never been a huge fan. I should probably start experimenting with them at some point, so I might do that. But I just feel that maybe you do burn through these kind of quickly, and I do find some of them are different colors, which is kind of weird. Like, I think these two are different here that I've just taken this one out because I noticed. But mostly you just get the same color over and over again, which kind of bugs me. But I guess you do kind of burn through pestles fast, so that might really not be their fault. I guess people do use them. And then over here, so th this is a really nice, they actually have some pretty good colored pencils as colored pencils go. So I believe there's two of each color. Um, so I'm just going to estimate here instead of doing the counting. There's probably like 15, 12 colors, maybe 20. I'm not exactly sure. And then there's four pencils here. There's 2B, uh, 4B, um, what is this? Oh, HB and 
uh, 6B. I've kind of only used the 6B. So there's pretty nice pencils. They're all pretty soft, actually, though. And then there's the colored pencils. These are pretty good, and they all come sharpened, which is nice. I haven't used a lot of them because so many doubles, man. So many doubles. Um, it does order of color here. Just it kind of annoys me because <laughs> I, I have the rainbow thing. I really like the paints because they're in rainbow. But these, it's a pretty nice set as sets go. I don't have another one, obviously, because that would just be kind of ridiculous. Um, but yeah, that was my review of this art set. I, I forget. It might be ninety-two piece. I, I'm not sure. Math, math, math. So I'm gonna close this up. I can hear somebody out there. Oops. So I'm gonna put that bleh, off to the side. I feel like I just did like the most epic weightlifting ever. Okay, there was one more thing I wanted to go. Oh right. Okay. So. Uh. There's these, which I just wanted to show. These are basically the rest of my art supplies. It's kind of the final area. So after I do this, I'm going to start moving on to other kinds of videos. Oh, there's, there's one more Sharpie here that didn't fit in the other case. I said I had a problem. So I'm actually going to start with that. I've got a bunch more Sharpies in here. I've got like three of the most common, the black ones. I have got um, three kinds of blue, no, Two kinds of blues, one of them is a double, a light blue and a dark blue. Those are Sharpies. Uh, red Sharpie, two orange Sharpies, another red Sharpie. I think this is pink. I'm not really sure. I've never used that one. So, yeah, I, I do have a problem. There's another, like, random pen in here, too. I, I have not actually used some of these pens in a while. I'm going to try this out right now. Uh, that's kind of dry. Um, what is that? It's from a company. Uh, the one thing I do have in here, which are, the, these are pretty nice. These are Muji highlighters. I just got these in October of 2015. They are all in Japanese except made in Japan. So there's a yellow and a blue, and these work great. They've got really nicely chiseled kind of nibs there. Uh, no problem with ink flow at all. They're really nice. Again, I don't know how much they cost. They were a present. Um... But I do recommend those if you're looking for highlighters. And then I have, like, a crappy Sharpie one over here that I don't use a lot. <laughs> this is kind of... This bin has a lot of random stuff. These are markers here that are very kind of similar to Copics, I find. They're dual-ended. They've got a brush end and then just a regular felt kind of nib. So there, there are six of these, but I've lost the other two because I got these so long ago. Which is kind of a shame. Um, these are... It's a set of gray. These are from Japan. So I'm they're from Tombow ABT. I'm not exactly sure what this company is. But if anybody does recognize them, I have N60, N45, and two N15s. Um, and I got these, I believe, at somebody else's birthday party, which was comic drawing themed. So that was fun. And then <laughs> there's some kind of embarrassing areas in here where... I, I just had markers that I wanted, even though I might not use them. Nobody else was going to, and I felt too bad to throw them out. I have these teeny little things, which are, like, barely big enough for me to hold in my hand. They're just Crayola washable ones. We got a set of, like, a hundred back when I was really little. I would never threw them out. So usually I just use these when I'm doing, like, a cute little chibi illustration, and it feels so much like a drawing I would do as a kid that I used markers that I used as a kid. And I, this is supposed to be a skin marker, but it works great on paper, so I have that. I have a micro in here. This is a little bit dried out, but I used to get because I don't want to waste all the ink. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, I've got these. Oh, they're, these are Sharpie accent highlighters. I've got a green, and then there's also a blue in here. If I just take this open. This is pretty nice. I think that's a chisel lamp. I'm not exactly sure where these came from. They do bleed a lot, just like regular Sharpies. That is a recurring problem. And then I've got, like, generic ballpoint pens. I don't know, probably everybody has these. So yeah, that's kind of my random things. Places. I keep a lot of pens I use um, for line art 
and things when I have a sketch that I really like here. And then you can see I have my little bottles that I showed in another video back here. This this thing is messy. It used to be a storage drawer for bed pens. So some of the things I have in here, the ruler, I stole this from my dad. Um, yay. It's six inches long. It just helps me draw straight lines and kind of measure proportions. Then I have a little bottles. Erasers, a big thing. I don't like using pencil erasers, especially because I find they get dirty. But I do love mechanical pencils. I love this is my favorite one because it's red. Um, and this is also, just for reference, this is my favorite thing for line art. It's an Onyx Uniball. They're really just for writing, but I really like them. So you should get one of those if you can see one. There are a bunch more Sharpies in here too that I was just didn't have the space for anywhere else. There's like four. Uh, green, blue, and two blacks. There's a compass in there. I don't know what that's for, actually. Uh, my, murder, my murder weapon. It says there's... Uh, oh, there's this thing. It could probably also be used as a murder weapon. It kind of looks like a stake. But this is a multicolored pen, which is kind of cheap. I got it at a mall somewhere. It doesn't really work that well anymore. Uh, it's just a toy. Um, so yeah, it's not really... I don't use that very much. I've got this. It's a .9. And a few other mechanical pencils that are going to lean there. And then my stickers. So I go to sleepaway camp every year. This is kind of the story behind these. And my grandma likes to send me letters. And, and every one, because I get one like every three days, there's a pack of stickers. So I've used a lot of stickers. And I still have a ton that I have not opened. These are a few examples. I've got two packs of stars, two packs of frogs, and letters. These I actually have used. And then there are more letters. The planet ones. These are my favorites. She only sent these to me once, so I've used a lot of them. And th those are nice. I, I just like putting those in places. I should probably do a video where I decorate. <laughs> I'm kind of embarrassed at how plain this is. It's got, like, stuff coming out of it and doodle papers. And it's broken. This is what I use for my art. Um, I have a class, I believe it's called an elective in school because they, art is no longer a mandatory class, which is a shame actually. I, I'm kind of upset about that, but I do have this sketchbook from that. It's pro art. It has very nice paper and inside I just have the elements of design, uh, some guidelines for describing art when we do our rubrics after each project. And some other things. There are some cool pieces that I will bring in once they're done because we just had an art show and these are guidelines for interpretation. So this is a nice sketchbook. I haven't used it too much yet but I have great plans for it and yeah I, I've done a lot of random stuff because this is a good way for me to look in. But this is like a, a TV that I drew when I first got the gel pens. It's with the metallic. You can really see that it shows up on camera off your hair. I did with the silver ones. So that's nice. I, I do kind of like drawing cheese, but they're hard to do because the proportions are just so off. I often end up making them look almost too normal. So yeah, that was um the longest video ever, <laughs> officially. Um, so I actually, yeah, well, 18 minutes. And this will take forever to upload, but I will see you in about 10 minutes. Goodbye.